hello, welcome to Knit in the City. I'm Rebecca, the city is Malmö, and today I am here with another Knitting Plants episode. The light is very strange in here. I tried to make this eye visible by shining a, <laughs> an artificial light source on it, but it seems like it's just hitting my nose in a really weird way. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna forget about this and just screw it up while I'm filming, but never mind. Yes, so this one uh, is patterns from my Ravelry library, which is quite extensive. And I also have not knit most of the patterns in my Ravelry library, and I would really like to change that. So I have picked a few patterns that I feel excited about, and that is what, what I'm going to talk about here today. Uh, all the patterns are linked, uh, and the link goes to a Ravelry bundle where the patterns are included. Uh, I will put the names and uh, the names of the patterns and the designers on screen, and I will also put pictures of the patterns so that you can see what they look like. Uh, some of these patterns are older patterns that I've had in my library for a long time, and others are more recent. I will talk to uh, not, I will not talk to them. I will talk about them in uh, pretty similar categories to the regular autumn knitting plants episode. Uh, there are some exceptions. For example, I don't have any vests, uh, and I will also be talking about a T-shirt. Uh, but never mind. Uh, I think I'm ready to just dive in, and I hope you will enjoy. Uh, the first category is jackets, and I only have one item in this category, and it is uh, the East Wind Jacket by Emily Foden. And uh, this is a design from her book, Knits About Winter, that is a really beautiful book, and I have talked about it before quite a lot, <laughs> uh, but I think uh, it really deserves to be mentioned again. Uh, I have been thinking about knitting this for quite some time, uh, what held me back mostly was how oversized it is, and I feel like I will look like a, I don't know, a big square thing in this, uh, in this design. But of course, I could make a smaller size. Uh, and now, the really big thing that I noticed when I looked into the pattern more in depth is that this is knit in pieces and then you sew it together. So I'm probably not going to knit this because not only do I hate sewing by hand, uh, I also do it very badly. Yes. But that's not going to stop me from talking about it because it's really, it's a really beautiful piece. Um, yes, it has a, a subtle texture pattern, pattern throughout. Uh, and the tiny cables at the mid front and back. Uh, it also has generous pockets and uh, toggle buttons that were quite um, popular in the spring, I think. Uh, the back is shaped with short rows. It only comes in four sizes, but it is very oversized, uh, so it could uh, fit a bigger range of sizes. Uh, the recommended positive ease is 35.5 to 50 centimeters, which is like ginormous. Uh, it is 14 to 20 inches of positive ease and is knit in one strand of DK held together with a one strand of mohair on 3.5 and 4 millimeter needles. And that is US 4 and 6. And that was the only jacket. The next category is cardigans. And the cardigan section is an Andrea Maori exclusive because I do have a lot of Andrea Maori patterns. I used to buy them when she had her birthday sale every year. Um, and um, yeah, I actually have 23 of them <laughs> and I haven't knit that many. I don't know, but I mean, I have knit quite a few Andrea Maori designs. Uh, but the first one is the LYS which means little yellow sweater. Uh, it is a cropped cardigan that would look great over a dress. Uh, it's knit with a raglan construction and it has a cute lace and bobble pattern on the fronts, uh, both sides of the button band. 
Uh, this cardigan is knit from the bottom up and you actually start with the sleeves, which I think it's a gr is a great idea because I always get stuck on the sleeves. So that's my le least favorite part of the knitting. Um, yes, it comes in eight sizes and has a recommended ease of negative two to positive two inches, which is a negative five to a positive five centimeters. Uh, it's knit in a fingering weight yarn on 2.5 and 3.25 millimeter needles, and that is a US 1.5 and 3. Uh, this one, uh, I, I actually think I'm going to knit. I already have the yarn. I bought the yarn a long time ago, about the same time as I bought the pattern. So I have, I don't know, 10 balls of do uh, drops Nord in a wine color that was that I was thinking to make this from. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that yarn. I also have a Regia Tweed in a charcoal gray with little tweedy speckles that would look good uh, in a cardigan like this. I mean, it might obscure the lace pattern, but we'll see. Uh, the next one uh, is, like I said, also an Andrea Maru pattern, and this is Sparks. This is a quite different from the previous one. This is a longer cardigan. It goes below uh, your hip points, uh, and it has a belt instead of buttons. I have made a similar design by Andrea, uh, is, which is the Ginny cardigan. And if you've been watching me, you, you will have seen that a lot. I, I talk about that a lot because I really love it. Uh, this cardigan has a colorwork motif. It's knit in the round and steaked, thank God. Uh, and it has a cozy shawl color, much like the Ginny. It comes in nine sizes and has a recommended positive ease of two to six inches, which is five to 15 centimeters. It's knit in a worsted weight yarn on 3.75 and 4.5 millimeter needles, which is a US 5 and seven and i currently don't have yarn for this but i would love to make it the next category is colorwork yokes uh, and this is a category of patterns that i am really excited about for this autumn the first one is lumme by uh, sari nordlund and i love this beautiful flora mo motif on the yoke uh, and I already have the yarn for the main color, and it is uh, Drops Lima in a dark taupe. I always have problems saying taupe. I hope I got it right this time. <laughs> uh, and I'm thinking to combine it with a light pink. I think that would look pretty good. Uh, I don't have the pink yarn yet, but... Uh, this is a stranded colorwork yoke pullover. And it from the top darn, darn, <laughs> down, <laughs> knit from the top down, uh, starting with the neckband. It comes in nine sizes with a recommended positive ease of five to 7.5 centimeters or two to three inches. It's knit in a worsted weight yarn on four, 4.5 and five millimeter needles, which is US six, seven and eight. Uh, the next colorwork yoke is uh, The Fern and Feather by Jennifer Steingas. And uh, this is a designer that makes a lot of beautiful colorwork yoke sweaters. I think that's mainly what she does. Uh, and I love this um, uh, kind of feathery pattern. And I've had it uh, in my library for ages, since 2019 is what Ravelry tells me. Uh, and I can't believe I haven't ma made it yet. Uh, it has a, a rolled neckband and it's knit in a stranded color work from the top down. Uh, and it is a round yoke design. The pattern includes instructions for waist shaping, if that's something that you want. Uh, it comes in 12 sizes with a recommended positive ease of 4 inches or 10 centimeters. It's knit in a worsted weight yarn on 3.5, 3.75 and 4 millimeter needles. And that is a US 4, 5 and 6. Uh, the next uh, colorwork design is actually not a colorwork yoke. It's the Nordiska by Caitlin Hunter. Uh, the color work is here is at the bottom of uh, the sweater and uh, sleeves. Uh, it is a cropped V-neck sweater 
And I would really like to make some more v-neck sweaters because I mostly have crew necks. Uh, <clears throat> it's knit from the top down and it has uh, cables in the raglan increases. It, it comes in seven sizes from extra small to 3XL with a recommended positive ease of 25.5 to 30.5 or 10 to 12 inches, which makes this a really oversized design. I'm thinking to make it a little bit smaller and add some length to the sleeves because they almost three quarter sleeves, uh, how short they are. And uh, through experience, I have learned that three quarter sleeves is not a good idea on me. Yes, uh, it is knit in a fingering weight yarn on, let's see, 2.75 and 3.5 millimeter needles. And that is US 2 and 4. Uh, the next category is t-shirts and I only have one t-shirt that I'm going to talk about and that is the Luna Tee by Carissa and I have already made this t-shirt once and I can insert a picture when I'm wearing it. Uh, I knit this in drops merino? Baby drops baby merino which is a super wash yarn and I'm so nervous to, to, I haven't blocked this because I'm so nervous that it's going to grow. So I am wanting to make this in a 100% non-processed wool yarn. Or not non-processed because they're all processed. But uh, no chemical proce processing. Uh, without any chemical processing is what I'm trying to say. Just a pure wool yarn. Uh, and this design is knit in a broken rib, uh, it's a top down in the round construction, it has a raglan and a mock turtleneck. It comes in 14 sizes with a recommended negative ease of 0 to 5 centimeters or 0 to 2 inches. It's knit in a fingering weight yarn on 4 millimeter needles, which is a US 6. And I actually have a yarn that I'm thinking, and it's not 100% wool yarn, it actually has cotton in it. Uh, it's the Esther by Permin, which is a figurative weight yarn, and I think it has 55% merino and 45% cotton. So, but it's not a superwash yarn. I am going to make, I'm actually going to make a gauge swatch this time, block it and see what happens. And if I'm not happy with it, I will get another yarn. Uh, yes, that's all. That's all the t-shirts. Uh, next category is mittens and uh, I'm starting with the mitts. The first one is called Winter Twilight Mitts and uh, I really like the beautiful tree pattern on these mitts. It is a stranded color work project knit from the cuff. It only comes in one size with a, with a finished hand circumference of six inches. It is knit in a lace weight yarn on 2.5 millimeter needles or US 1.5. So pretty small needles and very thin yarn, but it is also a small project, so it shouldn't take too long to make. And I'm sure I have some scraps somewhere that I can make a pair of mitts out of. The next one is Belize by Isola Teague. And uh, this is also a pair of stranded colorwork mitts. And they are from Isolda's third iteration of Knitworthy. Uh, and it has a star pattern on the back of the hands. Uh, these mitts have short fingers, which I find really cute. Uh, they come in one size with a finished hand circumference of 8 inches. It's knit in a sport weight yarn on 3.25 millimeter needles or a US 3. Uh, the next is a pair of mittens, and I have talked about these before. It's the Arched Gusset Mittens uh, from Pearl Soho, and this is a free pattern. And I have also knit these before, and this is probably my most worn knit of last year, because I wore them every day when it was cold enough to wear mittens. So I really need another pair. Uh, I mean, it's not like they are... I mean, it's not like there, there's anything wrong with it I, or it, them. Wow, I'm all over the place today. <laughs> it's not like there's anything wrong with them. Uh, they're not worn out or anything. I knit them uh, holding two strands of yarn together 
So this created a thicker fabric than was than the pattern actually asked for, which means that they are rather wind resistant. I mean, if you are out biking and it's really windy, then it's and it's cold, then it's gonna go through. But if you're just walking around in the city or even in the countryside, you're fine. Yes, uh, it has a really nice increased line through the palm like this. Uh, and what else? Um, it comes in five sizes actually, from kid to adult, adult extra large. It is knit in a worsted weight yarn on 3.75 millimeter needles. Uh, or US 5. Uh, and the last pattern I am going to talk about is Persephone by Emily Foden. And if you've been following me, you have also heard about this one, because I have been planning to knit these for a really long time. Uh, I actually have started, so I can show you what they look like. Yeah, this is the mitten that I've started. I'll try to hold it up. This is the inside of the hand. Uh, they, these have a Pico calf, like this. Can you see that? Yeah. Uh, and then it has, I'll put it on. The yarn is all over the place. Uh, and it has these really nice uh, lace borders on the hand. And then this is a knit and pearl, the little thing that goes up to the divide, dividing of the thumb. Uh, I'm knitting this in Rama Fi Null. And uh, they are knit in a fingering weight yarn, and the, uh, this is bordering on sport weight, but that's fine. Uh, I don't mind the yarn being a little bit thicker than recommended when you're making mittens. Uh, and they're knit on 2.75 millimeter needles, uh, which is a US 2. Uh, they come in three sizes, I forgot to tell you about that. Yes, three sizes. Uh, and they're all adult women's sizes. Yes. Uh, the next category is shawls and collars, and the first one is the Vima collar by Sari Nordlund. And I have been wanting to make this for a while, and I think what has been stopping me is the yarn. Because I don't have... Usually if I have yarn, I have a sweater's quantity, or just one skein. And I don't want to pick like four skeins from a, that could have become a sweater. I mean, 50 gram skeins then. That could have become a sweater if I have 10. Uh, yeah, so that's, so I have to buy yarn to make this. Uh, yes, I feel like a color collar like this would be very useful. Uh, you can put it under a winter jacket which, I mean, if you have a shawl and you have like a thick winter jacket, you don't want to put, uh, um, I mean, it, get, it gets really bulky. So this color is perfect for that. Uh, it's knit from the top down and has a folded over ribbed collar. Uh, it's a tutu rib uh, and a simple cable pattern. It has short rows in the back and an eye cord edging, so it looks really neat. Uh, it comes in one size with a length of 38 centimeters and a width of, and a width of 33 centimeters, uh, which is 15.75 inches times 13 inches. It's knit in a DK weight yarn on three and 3.5 millimeter needles, which is a US 2.5 and four. The next one is uh, a winter honey, and we're back to Andrea Maori. Uh, I actually started knitting this before, but the all over cable pattern like really bored me <laughs> and I got, I mean, my skills were probably not where, they're, where they are now because I mean, as a knitter, you constantly evolve. Uh, so hopefully I have more patience today. It's a triangular shawl uh, that comes in two, two, not two, two different sizes, a shawlette and a shawl. Uh, it has an all-over honeycomb cable pattern and it's knit in a worsted weight yarn, which I like because that makes it a bit faster and you also get a really big squishy shawl. Uh, it's knit on 5.5 millimeter needles, which is a US 9, so these are also big needles. Uh, the last shawl is the Snefald shawl by Fiber Tails, and Snefald means snowfall in Danish. 
Uh, this shawl also has a triangular shape, but it has a stranded colorwork pattern. And it is actually knit in the round and steaked. And I have never knit a shawl in the round and, and steaked it. So I was intrigued by this pattern. And that is probably the main reason why I bought it. It's also gorgeous, of course. Uh, it's knit in four colors and it has a wingspan of 145 centimeters or 57 inches and a spine that is 55 centimeters long or 21.5 inches. It's knit in a worsted weight yarn on 3.5 or 4, not or, and 4 millimeter needles, which is a US 4 and 6. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to make this design. Uh, I think the problem here as well is that I need to buy yarn for it uh, because I want the colors to match. Yes, uh, the next category is hats uh, and the first hat is a free pattern. It's the 2x2 two two, and I have made this before. I knit one for my father for Christmas and I think he has been wearing it quite a lot. Uh, it's a 2x2 two -two ribbed hat. Uh, like the name suggests, and it has a folded brim. Uh, it comes in one size, but since it, is, since it is ribbed, it can fit a bigger range of heads. Uh, it's knitted a worsted weight yarn on four millimeter needles or US six. And I think for this one, I would only need like 100 gram skein or 250 gram skeins of uh, the same color. So. This I can find in my stash. Uh, the next hat is the Alpine Bloom hat, which is quite different. Uh, I am very drawn to this beautiful stranded color work uh, pattern. Uh, this hat comes in three sizes, from child to adult XL. It's knit in a sport weight yarn on 3.25 and 3.75 millimeter needles, which is a US 3 and 5. And I was planning to knit this hat with the leftovers from my car sweater, uh, the Rebecca Clow pattern. I can put a picture. But uh, unfortunately, I because this is knit in a sport weight yarn, uh, and unfortunately, I didn't have enough leftovers to make the whole hat. So I have to change my plans and find different yarn. The next category is socks. And uh, two of these socks are Isoda Teague patterns. The first one is called Hugni. Uh, and this is from the Knitworthy 2 pattern collection. Uh, they have a simple wave color work pattern and contrasting heels and toes. Uh, the socks are knit cuff down the way I like it. And comes in two sizes. No, not two, si three sizes. And it has two different leg lengths. Uh, the longer version also has calf shaping. Uh, they're knit in a worsted weight yarn, so it should be rather quick to knit up uh, on 3.5 millimeter needles. And it's also a simple pattern. Uh, yes, uh, the next uh, pattern is also an Isoda Teak pattern. It's the Rakkaus, uh, also from a knitworthy collection, the fourth actually. Uh, they're striped with the contrasting heels and toes. So this is also a really simple design. Uh, this construction is toe up, however. So uh, anyone who likes that, this is a pattern for you. Um, so I'm not sure I'm going to make it, but I think they're really pretty. And you, it's so simple, you could, you could reverse engineer the pattern and knit them from the cuff down. Yes. Uh, they come in 10 sizes, which is fabulous, uh, from toddler to a men's large. Uh, so they are perfect for gifts. They're knit in a sport weight yarn on 2.75 and 3 millimeter needles, which is a US 2 and 2.5. Uh, the last sock pattern is uh, the Nordic Socks by Morgan Kornitz. Uh, and this is a free pattern. Uh, and these socks are knit in stranded color work. Uh, in a classic geometric pattern. They have a ribbed cuff and an afterthought heel, which is not the best for my foot because I have a quite deep foot. Uh, but you can make a few extra rounds before you start uh, decreasing. So I think I could get away with it. Uh, yes, they come in three sizes, S to L 
and um, they have now okay now i lost my train of thought <laughs> no i lost where i was in the in the in the script uh yes they come in three sizes s to, to l uh, they're knit in a fingering weight yarn on 2.25 and 2.5 millimeter needles which is a us1 and a 1.5 and that is actually all of the patterns that I had to talk about today. I hope that wasn't too quick for you. <laughs> uh, but uh, make sure to check out the Ravelry bundle if there were any patterns that you were interested in. I also have a lot of other autumn themed uh, videos that you can check out if you haven't already. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!